Yeah, yeah. Always yeah. 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 Close it now so we can see you. <laughs> What's going on? My hood nah. magazine. I feel better now. We got all everything going. Okay. Facebook, so Instagram, we every everything yeah, we got a we got a live here, we got a live here, yeah. and we are on what my hood magazine That's page my hood here. Magazine, and then we on my your Instagram. Okay, okay, cool. So everybody got I think somewhere. everybody can hear me. I got both the my AirPods in it. Okay, cool. So I cannot read your comment if you're reading, if I'm looking here, unless I guess I look there. We can definitely see the comments on here. Okay. So let's, you know, get started. We just gonna run this, like I said, off the top of the dome. Um, Let's just talk about you and who you are. What is your name? Introduce yourself to the people and tell I'm us breaker, a about yourself. Breaker, 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 y'all know me. I'm from Duval County. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hip hop artist. I'm a lyricist. We bringing real hip hop back tonight. I got bars that we gonna open up with for a young dog. We got shows booked up all year. It's gonna get crazy. Okay, so let me just say I did have an opportunity to listen to your music, um, hip hop paparazzi. I was totally right. blown away. You said it right. I know. I've been praying. People like hip hop paparazzi. <laughs> hip hop paparazzi. Hip hop paparazzi. <laughs> yeah. You said it like hip hop paparazzi too, but the way me and my dog said, we say hip hop paparazzi. Hip hop paparazzi. I had an opportunity to listen to it, and I must say I was absolutely 100% blown away. <laughs> I have never been blown away by many people's music. I think um, Ball Greasy may have been the last person I was blown away by, so you in, lane you in the lane now. You in you in the lane now. How'd you get it off the porch? That's short. So let's talk about what your music is because i mean i'm sure people want to know like she's talking about she's blown away what is she talking about like explain to them what type of music you actually have hip hop paparazzi it's a combination of paparazzi and hip hop you know people who know me for before music they know me for the cameraman the graphics guy the tech guy the guy who gonna come through and take the computer apart and fix it again so um, they knew me for that, but they didn't know I've been making music all my life and that actually music inspired me to do media and stay in the media game and be around other artists. So I've been behind the scenes for a long time, recording artists, recording shows. So when you hear my music, you're going to hear like a combination of like all the experiences me and my dogs went through when we was at this, when we went to all the concerts, our experiences trying to get in the game, trying to get people to like understand that we like doing doing music too, till we got to the point where we just made it on our own, you know, we ain't, we ain't asking for no handouts no more, we just dropping hot shit. True, facts, facts, and nothing but facts of everything you just stated. I have actually known this young man for a very long time, and I had no clue, y'all, no clue he do music, and not only that you do music, Bitch, you good. Really? Oh my God. No, no, no. We ain't gonna go no all right. Because you got, bars, you got you know? these the kids, hip, like, the hip, the hip, the hip. them kids on you. You got TikTok on fire. Like, they got TikTok they, challenges they with, with, with Breaker like on there. You got my about. kids gone. You like another Mooski. You, you taking over. I ain't trying to take over. I just want to tell my oh, story. Oh, no. <laughs> you taking over, for sure. You taking over. That's dope. I so, like it. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to give my perspective of the game. You know, it ain't like we trying to take over or be the best. Like, we just, hey, we like hip hop too. We ain't out here killing. We ain't out here selling dope. Which I don't mind. I ain't, I ain't and that's, no, that's no disrespect the to the people who do that's that. That's the other thing. Your really? music doesn't, that's, it's not dope selling music. And we we totally love our dope boys, y'all. Continue. Not the dope boys. <laughs> fuck with me. I'm hustle, just saying it's that it's music. not you know that kind it's of hustle. shoot them up, bang, bang, we finna go kill somebody type. Oh, you might get a little bit of that in there because I'm a new <laughs> Well, well, <laughs> hang them and bang them. I got shit to live for. I got shit to protect. <laughs> Your life was just different coming out of Duval County. So let's talk a little bit about that. Why isn't your music that type of music? It, I mean, it's still, it's inspired by it, but I didn't grow up that life. You know, I went to a college prep school. I went to college, HBCU, FAMU, you know. Um, I mean, it's just different, you know. I'm one of the, I'm one of the few, I'm part of the click, click that made it out, you know. I'm part of the click that the dope boys say, hey, you can't do this. Your people, good people, we're going to make sure you straight. 
So that's that's kind of vibe you get from my music too. Like, okay, hey, they told me not how to move. They taught me how to move. So the hustlers fuck with me too. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with the hustlers heavy. They help me get to where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of hustlers. I can't even say no names, but then I'll be looking like six nine. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you even had a different upbringing. We know within the game, a lot of artists. You know, we're missing mothers. We're missing fathers. Tell us a little bit about your upbringing and how that played a part in your music. Nah, I mean, I grew, I, I grew up in a big family full of boys. You know what I'm saying? I'm like the smallest brother out of five boys. You know, I, I two parent home. You know, so like, man, them boys used to, hey, we. Iron sharpens iron. That's all I can say. We beat up on each other, <laughs> argue with each other, and uh, probably competed with each other all the way to the top. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even really look at nobody else around. I only know brotherhood. That's why when you see my dogs, when you see the blues brothers, the people around me, Kia, they like, I treat them like family because we don't know nothing else. I only hung around family. You know? That is, that is true. I mean, I've, like I said, I've known you for a while. I just hate the fact that you've been hiding this from me and then you want to drop it on me like, boom, like, and I want that ball greasy promotion was the exact words that he said. So we're going to give him yeah. all the promotion that I he deserves. I did say that. I did say that. It, you deserve it, though. Trust said, me. I said, I said, ball people ball. know if you ask me to listen to your music, I'm going to give you the truth. Yeah, you did. It. You I'm did not going to lie to you. You did. You did and I took a whole week to call your ass because I was totally hooked on hip hop. You were listening, you were listening to it. Like, I'm a total breaker fan. Like, if you ain't I coming with that. nothing That's harder than that, then you know I'm finna get on your That's ass. What's up. You got me blushing on. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking yeah. of, we are actually listening to some of that in the background. Yeah, um, this know. song is one they of my know. favorites. Uh, they know. What is the name of this song? It's called Let's Just Ride. You know, it's featuring the dope boys, man. They, they come through on every project of mine and drop a little R&B style, something I can do for the ladies, because that's a mm. part of me, too. But I can't really talk like that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you are artist. I mean, I'm very sure that the ladies are on you. I've listened to your music. You got a, a true hip hop. Take me all the way back to that hip hop. When I listened to it, I was in New Jersey. I went to New York. I was in Cali. I was in Ohio. I was in Chicago. I rode all the way to Miami. Like every really? song that you had, it just took me somewhere where I ain't been in a minute that I needed to go back to. So. In the essence of when me and Dog Man had an actual listening session in yeah, his car, a whole listening Hello, session in the car man with the Dog Man, the promoter, the number one international mm -hmm. promoter. I know he, he probably promoter. slammed me in the dirt. He like, man. You know what? He did not. I'm gonna be real honest with you. The first thing he said was like, "That's true hip hop." He like literally took it That's back to true hip hop, and all he was doing was vibing the whole time. That's all we want. I don't gotta be the best, but hey, just as long as you say, "Hey, that's hip hop." That's real. Real hip hop that works. It does. If you're looking for some real music, some real hip hop, Breaker definitely can take you there. So, how can we get that music? It's streaming all platforms Apple Music, YouTube, Amazon, Spotify, uh, Pandora, all that shit. You know, it's on everything, man. We got two products, projects. We got Hip Hop Arasi and the session. I was like, something I drop every year on my birthday. I try and drop a project. So, okay. got new songs. Now, I heard some it. some different voices in there. Tell us about some of the features you have on that Hip Hop Arasi. First of all, the Blues Brothers always come through strong. When you hear Breaker, you hear the Blues Brothers. People don't know, like, we, we travel together, we work together. So when I'm in the studio, even when you just hear me on the track, you might hear Top Dollar, he done wrote the hook. Deacon and did the ad lives. The Blues Brothers consists of Top Dollar and Deacon Duval and Breaker. I'm one third of the Blues Brothers. So you are, uh, wait, so you are a solo artist, but then you also have a group that you're Yeah, pushing it's a group. Well. It's a movement. It started out as a movement. Like, um, we have a sponsor, Royal Blunts. Okay. Right. So wait, you're an artist that got an actual sponsor that sponsors you. Yeah, that yeah, budget budgets yeah. you out to tell you this is what we gonna do. Yeah, we like. Listen up, y'all. All y'all independent artists, please nah, listen. I ain't giving them all the game. Please man. You gotta work on your own. <laughs> yeah, work on your own. But yeah, the um, Royal Blunts is the key. You know, they they that's how we're brand ambassadors for Royal Blunts. So we were always out working. Our uniform was this Royal Blue, bright Royal Blue T-shirt. 
Okay. And everybody was calling us everything under the world. Like they was calling us the blue men, <laughs> the smurf. <laughs> Me and Top and Deacon got together like, yo, if we don't call ourselves something we want to be called, they going to call us something for ourselves. So we ended up coming up with the Blues Brothers and then we started incorporating the music that we was already working on it with each other. It's up. We were just all working as solo artists. So we put it together and that's how the Blues Brothers came about. And as you're speaking of it, I'm again listening to one of the songs that they're actually featured on. Uh, this is actually a, a horror song. Yeah. This It has a lot of, of smoking session stuff yeah. right in there. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this song and how you guys came up with it. Smoking Cones, dipping dabs, whipping in the vet. Royal Blunts had just came out with a hemp cone. They're the first company to come out with a hemp cone. And we were riding around city to city promoting this product, smoking out of this product. And we were just talking about exactly how we rocking. Coming to a hood. <laughs> Something we cheers too. <laughs> So we still do. You know, we were still rolling around on big rims. We was pulling up in cities where niggas don't even ride like that. They like, where y'all from? We like, we from the South, we from Florida, we from Georgia. Just killing shit, you know. Wow. So you are from Florida. Who is from Georgia? I got Top Dollar, my boy Top Dollar. We call him Captain Hook, cause he always writing the hooks. He dropping five hooks. He from Savannah, Georgia. He got a mean, mean, mean verse. And I think it's this, is it this song? I think every it. song, every song. See, he got a mean yeah, hook on, hook on every song, but definitely I can tell the difference, the style that you guys have, it all works together. It comes together, it doesn't sound like, like you from Florida, he from Georgia, because those flows are truly different. Exactly. You really don't even sound like an artist that is in Florida, you kind of like a burger, it's like we can put you anywhere and you can make it. Yeah, man, we just, we we inspired by our surroundings, not our you know not our location. You know, we from different cities, but we work together. Like when we when me and Top was in Miami at the Art Basel, we wrote certain songs because we were in Miami together, working together, enjoying the scenery together, hustling together. You know, we was in Chicago. We, we came up with certain songs because of the atmosphere in Chicago and how the people in Chicago treated us, you know, so it just comes from us working well together. We work well together in the studio, too. So really how well. does it work with you being an artist and then you say you are also a part of that paparazzi, that media? How do people treat you on both ends? Um, well, before I started doing music, it was the foundation that taught me the game. You know, like people say, learn the game before you get in the game. So like being behind the scenes, filming artists, working with artists, I wore several hats. I mean, I was filming, but man, sometimes I was the DJ. Sometimes I was putting the mix CD together. Sometimes I was getting the weed. Sometimes calling the girls, you know, <laughs> we was packing shows. I was doing whatever needed to be done. And, it, and I learned everything. So that, I never would, you know, down that. But once I started doing music, it's like, it's hard. Cause kind of like when Ludacris came out and he was from the radio meeting. Right. And it was like, oh, the radio guy can do music? Nah, uh, he can't really rap. And they started really hearing him. Like, oh man, that boy can rap. He forced that music and they didn't have no <laughs> choice but to hear him. They, gave him a, uh, they didn't give him no option. And that's what I feel like you are a, not even a triple threat, a quadruple threat. Like you have a lot of different ways that you come in. I might not come at you as no artist. I might come at you as the media guy, but yeah, I'm gonna still slide you my music. I even seen you um, where we were in Jacksonville, um, Bob Greasy went to the studio next to the club we were at, and the engineer was late. And you what like literally jump right in there, like, don't worry about shop, it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> For real, like I get it. I was done. like, dang, I know you know like, everything. Man, I got my computer right now, man. I multitask my. They waiting on me to drop the videos for the for the fucking show tonight. So I'm always in front of a computer. That's my style, you know, that's my whole thing. You know, like where where are you most comfortable? In front of the camera, behind the camera, doing the the, the work to make it all happen? I'm most comfortable in the studio. Like if, if you, anybody been in the studio with me, they know like once that beat hit me, like I just go. Like I don't even write and then me, then talk, fuck around and give me a hook and don't let me be in there when the producer making the beat because then we gon' by the time he finished the song will be finished. Wow. So I'm most comfortable there, but that don't mean I'm uncomfortable in other places. 
it's just I like it there the most because that's where I got my ounce. That's where I got everything I need to make me happy, you know, make it motivate me. Okay. So being that you spoke about um, the Blues Brothers, you do have one of them here with you, um, yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Top, Top Dollar. Dollar. So you gonna have to go on and pass that on over and come, come on up in man. here and have man. a seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. One of the halves yeah, of the Blue Brothers. So introduce yourself, you know, tell us who you are and what it is you do. How you doing? How you doing? I'm top dollar, you know. Uh half or two thirds of the Blues <laughs> Brothers. You know gotcha. we out here, uh, you know, I've been working with, with Breaker for some time, man, and, you know, just a lot of a lot of good good stuff, man. Good good history, good chemistry and um You'll see it. I know you feel the vibes every time we round. You know, so, you know, I'm from Savannah. I've been in the game for for a while, just like uh, Break behind the scenes in Savannah. I know a lot of artists from Savannah to Atlanta, down here to Miami and, and Tampa and stuff. So you know, I'm, I'm here. We working. We okay. Working. So are you going to be there tonight at the Young Dog? Uh, no, I don't know. Of course, I'm going to be there. Yeah. 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 Well, where's the young dog? Tell them again where to come at tonight. Make sure you got to tell them here, here, and over there. They better know. Y'all better know where we're going to be at. Whiskey North. You know what I'm saying? Come yeah. holler at us. Dolph pulling up. It's Dolph. Tampa, yeah. Florida. Tampa, we yeah. still lit. We've been here since Super Bowl. Super yeah. Bowl, yeah. baby. Yeah. Tampa, yeah. Tampa Bay Bucks yeah. is the champs. Yeah. We got to yeah. come out so tonight. So Tampa pull up, man. Tampa, Tampa up. pull up, man. We gonna be oh, there, man. Okay. Oh, we got some free giveaways too, man. We are gonna Ooh. be giving away some shirts and the Royal Blunt. Like Royal Blunt stuff. baddies gonna be there, man. Hey, y'all free? Nobody pass yeah. up on the free free. Yeah, man, pull up. Okay, 1809 East Fowler Avenue. We down here at Icons. Y'all come through. Meet your boy Breaker, Top Dollar, Blues Brothers. Take some pictures. My Hood Magazine. We gonna be here. Make sure you come out tonight and, you know, fuck with us. So, Breaker, uh, I want to get back to you. You said you had a session album. Is that dropped before or after the hip hop rock? That's after. That's, that's definitely like the aftermath. So what is what is the session in the session is it kinda like answered your question earlier. You asked me where I'm most comfortably at and that's in the studio. So, you know, the studio talk, the studio session, you know. Okay. But it's also a smoke session too. So it's the studio and the smoke session. You're gonna hear music that you can smoke to. You're gonna hear music that got bars. You're gonna hear us vibing in the studio in different cities with different producers. Shout out my boy C Trilla, Jack Brown. Dream Life, we, these are all the producers that help make this happen. Now, so, you said MG, you also, MG, oh, they're MG, definitely MGZ. Definitely MGZ. You ain't gonna make it back to Duval, you don't mention MGZ. Tell us some of the artists that you've come across since being in the industry. And I've seen all you with Snow. Uh, we got some names. I need some names. names. All of them. Yes, okay, I need you some say names. a name and I tell you. Recently, we just did, you just did <laughs> you, some you, stuff you, recently. You you, tell, you say a name and I tell you if I worked with them before. All of them. <sighs> Everybody. It's Except the ones that did. But you know, like I ain't it's too many names. I, ain't to with Listen, I can name the ones I haven't worked with. That's easier. Well, no, I mean, you you are, like, always around. Let's um, be real. Okay, okay, we got Rick Ross, T-Pain. There we go. Uh, we got um, newer artists. Um, just recently, Pooh Shiesty. Oh, yeah, we just you seen know, you with Pooh Shiesty, Moneybag, Money Yo, Bag, yo uh, right, Chameleon. 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 Definitely oh, shout out to my girl, person. Chameleon. And recently, you just did an interview with some people from... Uh, from, from BBC, there London, we go, you know BBC, what I'm saying, overseas, BBC. oh my God. Shout you out know, to my dog, Candice, Candice Louie. and the whole crew, they came down there. They came to Moncrief, and it was like Grand Theft Auto. It was, <laughs> like, literally, to, like, was like, tell us about was, that when she came. We was listening came. to my music, and she was like, where does this music come from? And niggas was literally getting shot, Dunks was riding by. Tricks was tricking. Yeah. They was literally out that day. I, I was, was out totally there asking shocked. for money. You know, shit was it real. was. A lady told us about check your food <laughs> stamp card. Like, look, it was insane. Everything happened on the creep. Like, look, man, I ain't even going to give it away, man. This show going to be so hard today. Like, <laughs> this is going to be hard, man. I'm, I'm like, bust a tear. It's going to be so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing Mon Creep to Whiskey North tonight. Oh, wow. Yeah. Tampa and Mon yeah. Creep meet. Now, that's. 
I guess it's gonna be show. like Grand Theft Auto <laughs> on the stage. <laughs> That's a show. You yeah. don't mind creeps and you already know. Yeah, yeah. So you definitely are out there. Your music is out there. I actually heard you mention that some of your beats come from overseas. Yeah, Dream Life is from London too. You know, so I guess like that's the correlation. So you already have a fan base in London. Yeah, yeah, man. They love hard lyrics in the UK. Like they love hard lyrics. They love hip hop. They love everything. They even love the, the hood shit too. Like she was fat. Man, that BBC was fascinated with the cars. They had never seen old school Chevys. They don't the get big that. Rims. <laughs> they had never seen. <laughs> They had never seen none of the type of cars. <laughs> the Impala, we the they car never shows, seen. Suicide yeah, the Impala, doors. Yeah, like that was insane doors. to them. Everything Absolutely. we talked about in empty streets, we walked around and seen in one walk. Less in than one house. walk. That Less was than house. That was not even set yeah. up that way. That no literally. I couldn't have paid for that. You can go on Mind Creep and shit just happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> believe it. Just happened. Believe it is real. real. So you, you're international. Your music is definitely known international. Damn, international? That's international. You work with the international. I ain't touring the man. I ain't made it over there yet. <laughs> that, see, that's the next step, though. They're listening to it, though. It's in the, it's in, I get, I get the streams. I'm if seeing your the numbers go If your producer is already over there making your beats, trust me, it's another producer already trying to get to you right Word. now as we speak. Word. London, if y'all listening, hit my Word. boy Break Up. Word, the dream life. What is your social media so everybody can go follow you? Break Up, B-R-E-A-K-A-104. People be like, Break 104, but really, Really, it's break a tenfold. <laughs> break a tenfold? Yeah, I, I didn't even get that. Down. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Break a tenfold. And that's what. And then some people be like, they ain't supposed to be break a nine oh four because I'm from the nine oh four, but it's really break a tenfold. Like, that's what they used to play around in high school. Everybody used to call me from way across the hallway and be like, break a break a tenfold. Can I get some reply? Like, oh, wow. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. a whole song. Yeah. They really used to call me that, even in football games and all. You know, it was, it's dope. What is your social media? So, uh, my you? my social media is paid in full one. It's paid the letter N full one L the number one. And that's at which part of social media? Instagram. Because you do not be on IG. another part of uh, social media, which is. Facebook. Uh, Facebook. Every time I tag I you, you don't get nothing. House. I tag you in on Facebook. You know, I actually don't have the app. I'm gonna need y'all heard it. We got, got a whole blues brothers who do not got the Facebook app. Get on his ass. I got, I, I, I got a page. Right today. Now. I'm gonna get it. I got today. I'm, I'm, I'm I need a, that. I'm gonna today. activate it today. Today. Y'all heard that today. If he don't get it today. And y'all better flood, y'all better flood my page and like everything, <laughs> download, stream, all that. It's gonna be crickets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You gotta put it in the story so you can see them. Yeah. Now, are you? Let's talk a little bit about uh, this clubhouse because you know clubhouse is the, the new what's popping. Are you on clubhouse? Am I on clubhouse? We all on clubhouse. Okay. So yeah, How do we find you on clubhouse? I'm on just straight. Break on Clubhouse, B R E A K A. Okay. Okay. So straight break on Clubhouse. Like, it was a, it was I'm just top. Top on T O P. Now, I actually was in one of the rooms with um, TJ Chapman. Shout out to TJ DJ. Um, he was doing some music reviews, and you actually had the opportunity to go. Where the TJ? And you played a song called Excel that the entire room. The entire room straight up was like, yo, send me that. What that say? I need that. Oh my God, what that say? Yo, who this artist is again? Everybody was really on you. Like, how did that make you feel? I don't ever get a chance to like enjoy it because we working so hard. Like we always on to the next thing. So it really hit me back later. Like it's just now hitting me right now. Now that you didn't explain it like that. Yeah. You know, we went straight to getting ready for the show. Oh man. Yeah, that felt good. Like man, they were saying it sounded like Primo produced it. 
It, you know, yeah. I mean, and coming from TJ, like TJ review music all the time, and, and he's he, ready everybody to know. throw you in the dirt. Like, TJ he will tell, tell you about your music. <laughs> he don't mind that you know. I, uh, I don't know who that. produced that, but no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I don't know who Man. told you to say that. Mm, not Man, gonna work. Your shit ain't popping in the first ten seconds. He, he gonna let you know. Like, Man, I, I seen him throw people in the dirt. He was like, oh, too much auto tune. Um, yeah, he's he's not he with that auto yeah, so Definitely, it was it, it felt good to get some love from the home team because like Tallahassee, like my second home. You know, I went to Fam You. Shout out to DJ Dim. He was on the cover. Pain, Nappy Heads, Lil Chris, man, all man, I, everybody, all them. They showed me the game being around those guys. TJ being around TJ's DJs. My uh, JB from Ozone Magazine used to come up there. Yeah, you know, shout out to JB, a huge cool. supporter of my hood. Yeah, like they, man, I learned from them. So when they, when they giving me the thumbs up, that's all I need. And yeah. Like, you know, I can keep going. So now that you have that support from, we'll just say, the legends in the game, who are you looking to grab that support from now to, so you would know, like, Breaker is on top, I'm at it. I'm ready to get in the studio with some of the artists that I grew up listening to, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, man, it's time for, you know, I need that verse from Nas, Cole. Oh, yeah. You know, I need, I need to show them, you know, that, hey, we, we similar, we grew up, you know, the same. We are in the town of Nas. Other than Tom G. Shout out to oh, Tom, Tom G. G. Oh, he the bar. Yeah, yeah the bar king. Yeah, Tom G. <laughs> Ain't no bars coming harder than that one. Like, he gonna straight rip you no from A to Z. He on the papoose level. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, Tom G is that dude. Um, so I know for sure um, he's one of the ones on your list as well. Yeah, Tom G, definitely. Tom G, definitely. On Man, he was top of the Florida list. He the hardest. He, he got the hardest bars in Florida to oh, me. Absolutely. I, I, I hands down his, on Tom G. Uh, takeoffs all the time. Yeah, all he time. still, he yeah. need that honorary ring. I heard somebody say he need an honorary championship yeah, damn, Tampa Bucks yeah, ring. He, 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 I agree. He definitely I agree. Yeah, 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 very much so. Very much so. And shout out to uh, Orlando. He did the, the Bucks song with uh, Little John. I thought that was pretty oh, yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, he had mentioned that. Um, yeah, I thought that was pretty dope. So tell us a little bit about what your next project is going to be. Man, we gonna do it. We're working on this project. It's gonna be called my Matt Books and Mon Creed. Matt Books <laughs> and Mon Creed. And then the Blues Brothers about to drop too. The Blues Brothers are already ready. We sitting on like visuals. We sitting on whole projects. The Blues Brothers got a whole project called Smoke Shop. And that's gonna be a big rollout. We got visuals for it. The songs are already ready to up on the streaming platforms. We just taking our time and spitting stuff out as we move. Okay. So, yeah. You remind me, um, I watched. Uh, last night the Wu Tang story, and you remind me of the Rizzo and how he had his hands on everything, he had a plan for everything, and he wanted to make sure that he had control over everything. And I think that is you with your vision on taking your time to do it. You're not in no rush. You're not looking for somebody to just come in and take over. You want to, you know, have your hands in and play a part of. It. And I think that that's pretty dope. And that says a lot about you as a person because you're not just an artist. You're a businessman. You're looking for for yeah. the long haul. Yeah. Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang, um, I really just now became fans of Wu-Tang from watching that same Oh, song. man, like, I was already I, 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 I was aware of their music, and I like RZA. I was really mostly a Method Man yeah, fan, like, but after seeing their story, I'm like, okay, everybody going through what I'm going through. It is, and everybody I can it. honestly say from being back in the air, like, I, rem I remember they went away, but I didn't remember why they went away, so it actually reminded me, you know what, that, that did happen. Kind of like that, but it makes a, it shows you how important it takes everybody to help you make you famous. So you think you already there? They may have felt like they didn't need that radio station, but every artist need a radio station. Because if the radio playing, because sometimes I might not even hear your stuff, but I got my kids in the car. We might be listening to the radio, so it comes on the radio, and then the radio gonna play it to death. Yeah. Well, well, me and my dogs, we from the south, so you know, like even though we knew about. Wu-Tang, like more our role models were 
more like the dungeon. Fam. Well, it made yeah, yeah. sense. Okay. We're gonna top it up. Yeah. It like, made like, sense as to why you did not you get it, it because yeah. listening to that manager, he was heavy from North Carolina on up, and mm-hmm. I'm from North Carolina, so it hit me hard. Yeah. Everybody in North Carolina said they're from New York anyway, <laughs> right? So <laughs> it it hit me so hard. I watched my brothers live yeah. through that culture that I could identify with every song, everything that they was talking about. Like I was a, a Wu Tang hip hop head, so that was a part of my upbringing and growing up so I connected with them as well but I didn't understand why it was not so heavy here but now after watching it y'all were so cultivated with anything that had something to do with Georgia it was rap uh, Miami you know like Miami it, or Georgia JT shit, Money I remember we didn't even have a hip hop station uh-uh. here like, we had top 40 like the big eight like we got vanilla ice and Hamilton. That time. is true. <laughs> that is true. When niggas was on New York hip hop, we my, my, like, as your, a kid, your mama like, on crack rock. Right? I'm sorry, that was the first song I heard when I first came. Here. Your, mom, your mama on crack rock, right? like that. That took me back to. To really, yeah. really miss you, you gonna talk about my mama on crack rock? Cause she is on crack rock. That was a hot song. A hot it song. really was. It Stop. really was. Yeah. Yeah. It really was. Shout out to my cousin Chris McAfee, cause without you, I would have never heard that song. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the music in Florida played a part in your music. Yeah. Like, man, shoot, like, even though you hear a lot of New York in me, or you hear bars, or whatever you want to call it. It is a lot of up, up man, north in your shoot. music. I grew up on the 69 boys, Lou. But Trick you, you Daddy, do hear that in JT your music. JT Money, you know, this. that's what that's what we was getting, you know, and then I, like, I grew up around them, literally, like, 95 South and 69 boys and Jay Ski, like, as a kid. Like, when I was my son's age, I used to be at their concerts in the back with my pops helping help promote these stuff so wow like, that, that's where a lot of stuff comes from a lot okay. of the grind we and had an independent grind down here being from georgia top um what kind of music influence did you have oh man <laughs> man I know y'all kind of y'all got that dungeoness family you know thing. So, I mean, I mean, in Savannah, you know, for you know, it was Outkast, uh, Goody Mob, um, yeah. Eight Ball, MJG, oh, yeah. UGK. Yeah. You know, that's a, a lot of my my upgrade. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, uh, the big groups like you know NWA too. You know, for me, you know, when I was young, young, you know. But uh, uh, going getting older in the game, camouflage. Um, a lot of you know rappers that didn't really make it out of Savannah, big, big. But camouflage kind of made it mainstream. But you know, Lil Booga and uh, Third, also, Third was Coast. Also, huge. Uh, like everything was. So, oh yeah, so so, so deaf. You know that that's you know ATL. You know, but. You know, I, uh, Big Boy, he actually from Savannah, so. Okay. Yeah, and, and Mary, well, she don't claim it, but Mary J. Blige, you know. Uh, what? I didn't know that. Okay, Mary. You didn't tell us that, Mary. Hey, Mary, I need confirmation on that. You didn't tell us she was from Georgia, girl. Yeah, man. So wonder why you so Southern. So wonder why we love you so much, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. From the South. Okay. A lot of soulful, soulful yeah. stuff going on in Savannah. And that kind of shows, um, just listening to your lyrics, like, I, me and my daughter be like, oh, mama, we can get it, hold on. Like, she literally trying to, in one breath, say it all to catch up with whatever it was that you were saying, but the moment she got it, it was like, okay, mama, I did it. It was like, <laughs> who top, you killing me over here, boy. So you you got some some bars, too. So I'm, I'm very proud of both of y'all. I cannot wait till tonight. Again, tell everybody where we're going to be at. Shout out to Deacon Duval, man. He Whiskey on North. Road. He on the road. He, he on the road. He'll be in a minute with swag a leg. You know, he's he's on your way, Deacon. In the swag on the way. You know, I will call you, Deacon. Be on your way. Everybody else here, though. The bad here. Yeah, we here. Top here. I'm here. My Hood Magazine here. Elite and Motivation now. here. Y'all okay. need to be there. Whiskey, Whiskey North. North. You know what I'm Two saying? Two nights. Young Dog will be pulling up. Key Glock. John Doe. John Doe. Marcy, which he is on the Beast. Yeah. Mr. John Doe. Marcy White. Marcy White. Yeah, shout out to Marcy White, Polk County in the building. Mm-hmm. Big Beast, ZMB, the whole gang gonna be in there too. You know, true so, that, true that. Uh, we got, boy, it's gonna be a hard lineup tonight, but it's a lot of slept on artists when they show out. Tonight. What can we expect out of you? Like, 
Like, I need to know what the breakup show gonna be like. It's gonna be Moncrief on the stage in <laughs> Whiskey <Creep>. North. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Moncrief meets That's all I have to say. Moncrief is gonna be on the stage. Like, what, the feeling that Candice felt when she came to Moncrief. Oh, man. That's what everybody is. Chilling, chilling, <laughs> cringeworthy. Like, oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, is shit. The, is this happening? Hey, someone got killed. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that we were saying. Literally, 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 we have a witness. Um, in the back, he really? verified our story that we were not lying. We Literally, tape, not shoot the him up, bang bang. What's going on, Mind Creep? And we, yeah, yeah, most definitely. But we ain't no shoot him up, bang bang, Mind Creep. Just the um, it, they brought slide. out the tape. They brought out the tape. Sorry, it was some shoot him up. Bang. Don't, <laughs> don't, 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 don't about listen. About it, that time. it was some shoot him up, bang bang. We seen the yellow tape. When they bring the yellow tape. The red tape. Shoot him up, bang bang. The, <laughs> the corner tape. Listen, it was some yellow tape. It, it said, do not come this way. It's some blood on the floor. Mm, really? Yeah, that's that's mind creep all day. So we'll be at Whiskey North. We are now at 1809 East Fowler Avenue at Icons. As you can see, the logo in the back, they got some really dope clothes. Y'all come get fresh, man. Really? Yeah. Come get your outfit. Don't come in there with no BS on because the camera will be in the, the building. The paparazzi. Hey, we all we got all, all the rapper clothes in here, too. The bread gang. Bread gang. Yeah. We got T.I. in here. Yeah, he you guys, everybody, yeah, everybody, 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 um, as you can see, because you were the, the victim in the situation <laughs> when, uh, shout out to Money, money Bad, yo. <laughs> shout out to you, baby. Shout out to you. I love you. But you sneeze on my magazine. <laughs> you sneeze on my shit. <laughs> you sneeze on my shit. But we cleaned it off, though. I sprayed it with the light on. I ain't get sick. So you straight. You ain't got the Rona. You good. <laughs> But you did sneeze on my shit, though. Yeah, if you ain't so seen the video, that's what it's gonna be. Money bag, yo. on go the on the page, IG, Facebook, yo page. Yeah, that's on my that page. That nigga sneeze on my shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but um, Money Bag Yo is mm. on the next cover for My Hood magazine. And I'm not gonna say a name, um, but we have a definite special surprise on the, the second cover. We just got a confirmation from that. Um, all I'm gonna say it's is like it's gonna be the blues, Trackstar. Shout out to Trackstar. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. We got a couple of covers dropping because it's it's so many coming back to back. So it's a lot of issues. Blues Brothers will be in there. Breaker will be in there. Um, catch us on the scene. Make sure you go download his music. Make sure you go download the magazine on Issued. Um, dot com and just hit us up man and follow us we got a a lot of new stuff coming new man Shit, we about to go on ahead i get this sound check together yes sound sure check at good. whiskey north we about to jump up out of here i'm grabbing a couple of outfits because icons kind of got some stuff yeah man in Tampa, this kind of got the better stuff than Lakeland, and yes, I said it. <laughs> yeah. I said it, it was me. It's better than Lakeland's own. <laughs> oh, we love you, Polk County. So make sure y'all come out tonight again one more time. Where are we going to be at? Whiskey North. Whiskey North. Whiskey North. Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Whiskey North. Come Tampa, on. One more time. <laughs> it's the home. And then shout out to the promoter. Need motivation promo. Need yeah, motivation, my dog. All day. Go. Shout out. First show. I'm proud of him. He's doing his thing. More things to come. And then one more time break before we get out of here because you have another show after that. Yeah, after was, today, you have another show. I mean, it's a view. Like, we went back in Jacksonville. All Star Weekend is in Atlanta. Ooh, We're going there. Shout out to Cut the Red Tape. Cut the Red so Tape. Line up. Um, and then, I don't know if I can release the artist that we going on tour with. We, we can hold it. We'll hold it. Yeah, I don't we'll want to say it because they ain't liked it in yet, and we don't want to. We don't want to step on no toes. We'll it's hold going it. down. Like it's in the it's in the works. I, all I I can't say 
these artists smoke a lot like us. Oh God, <laughs> so, I won't be there. Yeah. Sorry, I'm on another tour. Damn, we gonna be. We gonna be it's gonna be up and smoke. <laughs> we want <laughs> all the smoke. Another yeah. up and smoke too. We want all the smoke. Yeah. You want some ignorant shit? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. I feel you. So make sure y'all come out tonight. We will definitely be in the building. Um, any shout outs you want to give before we get up out of here? <laughs> uh, definitely shout out mama. Shout out son. Your All son. Your brothers. son is one of your biggest fans. Yeah, you better yeah, shout yeah, him man. out. He told me the song to perform, so I gotta perform one of his favorite songs. That shit. Okay. I, I can't know. wait to he see. He was mad at me because he couldn't come to the club. Wait a minute. So I'm not <laughs> the only bad parent because my daughter thought she and was. Then I, and then my ass was <laughs> Real deal had an outfit to, out and all. I was Where trying you going? to figure out how to smuggle him in there. I was like, well, yeah, maybe that ain't gonna work. You gotta put you gotta put an outfit on that. The mask guy, and then he'll be able to get in. He was really mad about that. So he was like, "Why? Wow, what is uh, the club?" <laughs> um, yeah, you know, baby, I'm gonna need you to grow up a little oh, bit more. Like, like, yeah, get in there. He was trying to get in there, man. He liked Top Dollar. Top Dollar, his favorite. Oh, artist. really? Oh, yeah. Top Love the Tune. Oh, all the hooks with Top in it. He liked them too. I don't know what it is, seriously, about your hooks. They be trying to catch them bitches like, like, like me since he was a baby, too. Like, he knew how to say Top before a lot of things. <laughs> wow. <laughs> For real. Wow. Like, since he was like three. Like, oh, wow. Top Dollar. You got a lot to look up to. For real. Yeah. 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 No. I'm a stand up guy. You know? Okay. I hear you, Mr. I'm just Taylor. sitting down right now. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna make y'all bust no rhyme for me. That was my next move. You gotta bust a whole freestyle on this bitch. Oh, shit. A whole freestyle to from the dome top. Huh? Huh? What? Oh, y'all say y'all want that too? Well, Let's do it. <laughs> Let's run it. They cannot leave until uh, I get a whole say? freestyle. Who, who said that? A whole freestyle. Let's run it. Let's go from the dome. Let's run it. Hey, oh, run it up, run it up, huh? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> Money bag, you sneezed on me. Okay, yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Yeah. Okay. So y'all just got to okay. come out tonight to, to see what they're going to do. So yeah, they can... we're going we gonna to keep you on the edge of this seat. Oh, well, I'm already there, shit. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm already there. Let's go. Y'all want some bars? Want some bars? Let's, let's, let's go. Food. Then you're going to get some bars. Huh? Screens in the studio look like the Everbank. I'm shot con with the team, what the fuck you think? Now, new to this, true to this, since 08, been blowing money on the team, and we ain't gotta win the fucking game. Mm -hmm. Still, still niggas try to treat me the same. I remember thinking they would show love what I bring to the table. I mean, we was trying to start a label, but so was everybody. Now, I remember getting kicked up out the party when I was trying to be an artist, but nine days shit crazy. Every day getting started backstage, getting paid with the artists, cause we the hardest, the realest niggas that ever done did it. And I don't talk about this shit, my man, nigga, we live it. Hey. Yeah, I'ma talk about this shit. Yeah. And I'ma deliver it like a delivery man. And I'm the man, you know I can. Yeah, I'm an icon posted with my hood magazine. And I ain't talking I was with the magazine. I'm spitting the it's not my mouth like a magazine. Huh. I'm trying to blur this shit out, cause I'm mad me on the rap. I'm just bullshitting. I'm be coming through, spitting in the pulpit, mm -hmm. like a deacon, waiting on deacon. Nick, I'ma spit these rhymes to have you leaking. Oh, mm -hmm. leaking in the rain. Meet us at Whiskey North, yo. Okay, Whiskey yeah. North, you gotta Straight come up. see the rest. Bars. Absolutely, yeah, bars, bars for days. Yeah, Let's bars. go. Please, yeah. My yeah. Hood Magazine, yeah, yeah. we out of here. Icons, baby, we appreciate y'all. Hey. Yeah. 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 Yeah.